What's going on, folks? Ike here once again. I hope everyone's doing well. It's time for another fragrance review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Zeno Davidoff by Davidoff. I bought this fragrance about a year ago, maybe. When I bought it, I tried it once or twice, put it away, and I haven't touched it since. So um, I bought it because there's a lot of hype. Everybody online was saying how amazing of a fragrance it is, and it's been discontinued and because it's been discontinued you should buy a whole bunch of them they're gonna go up in value blah 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 because of all the hype i bought it blindly and uh i went online it was about 20 bucks so i said hey you know why not give it a try so i bought a bottle of it, it comes in a beige cardboard box it's not totally opaque so you know how much juice you got in it which i like because i hate the bottles that are totally opaque where you don't know how much you have left i knew i was gonna do a review so I wore it for the last few days. This is allegedly a signature scent of Johnny Depp. That's what I read online, but you can't believe everything you read online, obviously. It's basically a patchouli and lavender bomb, like a ton of patchouli, lavender. You get a little creaminess of vanilla, some leather vibes. When you first spray it, you get that urinal cake vibe that you get from a lot of old school scents which it's very common with those old school scents. You get this urinal cake kind of smell to it. When you first spray, it's just overwhelming amounts of patchouli and lavender and a bunch of other florals. And at the base, you get like a creamy smelling like vanilla and some woodiness. But the woodiness is kind of like old furniture kind of woodiness. This is more of a warm, cool weather kind of scent. And this whole winter's passed by and I haven't reached for it once. So I guess I don't like it that much, but I don't hate it. So it's definitely a cooler weather scent. I don't see it being a signature scent that you could wear year round. Maybe you could pull it off in the summer if you're very light with the sprayer. The performance I get is very good. Um, I get like six hours. Um, it starts out very patchouli heavy and and, and lavender and the dry down is very powdery it's a, it's a unique scent i'll give it that there's not anything out there that i know that smells like this i don't see too many occasions where i'll be reaching for this if i if i want to describe it in lay person's terms it comes across very artsy fartsy to me very um what's the word i'm looking for bohemian a very bohemian type scent where it's very artsy and I, I could um imagine people that go to art galleries and such would wear a fragrance like this i could say it's kind of androgynous it's not fully masculine because it's so floral heavy and, and the lavender that it uses it's not a nice lavender it comes across very much like cleaning products lavender every every time i smell it close it just doesn't smell nice it smells very annoying to me so it's not fun to wear but when you're not up close to your skin it kind of puts off a decent scent trail you know it's a kind of a hippie creative kind of scent and as far as johnny depp actually i think it would fit his personality pretty good because he's kind of got that artsy vibe to him not so much like johnny depp from like 21 jump street but johnny depp like edward scissor hands i could imagine would be wearing something like this or even when he was playing that pirate uh i could i could definitely imagine you know that bohemian vibe you know painters sculptors that's just the the kind of association i get from a scent like this like probably because of the heavy patchouli i can't i wouldn't describe it as fresh and i wouldn't describe it as masculine it's kind of androgynous it's definitely not for me and uh it was kind of weird because everybody's talking about how it's discontinued and their stocks are running down and i went out to buy it like a year ago every store had it was fully stocked with it so i kind of bought into the hype and i blind bought it and i have not had much use of it since i bought it so it's not a scent that i particularly like but i could imagine some people might like it but then again i have my tastes and uh you know reviews like this they can just give you a ballpark of what it smells like and it's basically a patchouli lavender heavy with some you know woods and some vanilla and maybe like a little bit of a leather vibe in a nutshell that's what it is that's all i got thank you for watching and i will smell you later